Hey guys, today I've got some pretty normal, practical, everyday use items to show you, so let's get started. First off, we have Ambrosia. It is a shaving cream. It doesn't really set up though, so I wouldn't really call it a shaving cream. Kind of weird for me, and it seems a little oily. It's more of a lotion that you're slathering all over your body. It's best for razor burn, ingrown hairs, and itchiness. It has oat milk and cocoa butter, so the scent is rather calming. Because it's a lotion-like texture, my razor did not want to move. It's nothing like using a traditional shower cream or even to fluff. But it left my skin feeling so soft and moisturized, it was like using a body conditioner. Okay, so this is Aroma Co. It is a deodorant. It's a natural alternative to deodorant, and it's weird. It's a pretty cool looking cube. I like the cute design they have molded on the top. It smells of patchouli, but pretty subtle. You're supposed to rub it onto your pits and then massage it in with your fingers. It doesn't go on smooth unless you or it is already warm though. After massaging, it obviously got all over my fingers and I hate that feeling on my fingers, so I had to go wash my hands. And I don't I mean, I guess that's a normal thing for people that use this kind of deodorant, but it's it's kind of annoying to me. I'm not a very smelly person, but it also doesn't seem like it lasts as long as like a normal deodorant. I did read that a girl on the Lush Reviews, she melted it down and then poured it into a normal stick of deodorant and that's how she uses it and she said it's not messy and it works like normal. I don't know, it's pretty hard as a brick. This is Tea for Toes. A foot powder, effective deodorizing herbal powder to make your feet fresh and odor free with added tea tree and lime oils for a pleasantly refreshing fragrance. So this video is basically how not to apply it. <laughs> no, but really you don't need a whole lot, so definitely use it sparingly. I absolutely love the citrus smell, it's very fresh. The tea tree oil, you don't really smell it, it smells more like lime, but tea tree oil is a natural bacterial repellent, so I see why they say, you know, it keeps you fresh. It also says you can apply in your shoes. So, you know, I decided to show that. Just sprinkle it in and shake your shoe a bit. It's basically like invisible socks because it keeps your feet nice and dry. Basically, it's great for people that wear flats and sandals. Next up is 93,000 Miles Shower Jelly. And you guys know how I am with my shower jellies. This is pretty much the wiki magic muscles of shower jellies. So it smells just like peppermint and cinnamon. It's to loosen aches and pains and it does exactly what it says. It totally relaxes and soothes sore muscles. If I use this right after I shave, it has a really hardcore cooling feel. It's pretty neat. Of all of the shower jellies, this one is my favorite. Okay, now that I'm smelling this, I don't really, you know, I mean, it smells exactly what I'm gonna say it smells like, but it's not that bad. I think it's because it's been sitting for a really long time. Anyway, this is figs and leaves soap. Obviously it looks kind of gross, and the smell reminds me of outdated hotel mixed with days old human puke. I do smell leaves though, like really, I, I do. I can't hate on it completely though, I mean the scent is really unappealing and it's not very pretty, but it has a really good lather, and I love the texture, so it gets the job done. The last thing I want to show you is Rough with the Smooth. I have like three of these. This is like the greatest thing ever. I love the smell. So this is a shower scrub. This deeply exfoliating treat is made of granulated sugar and muru muru butter. The scent complements Lord of Misrule perfectly. Patchouli and vanilla. It's an amazing shower scrub, so be sure to only wet your skin and keep the bar as dry as possible. You really have to baby it or it'll melt and go to waste. All I like to do is huff it and the container all day long. That's why I have multiple ones because I don't want to use one because I just wanna smell it all the time without having to scrub myself down. That's all I have for this week. Next week, I believe I'm gonna do a shampoo and a bubble bar, probably another shower jelly, some soap cleansers, and a conditioner. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next week.